as a community manager, I spend most of my day emailing people, texting people. I'm just moving text around from one place to another. And very little of it is actually totally unique. And therefore, I use a tool, you know, I've used a couple of tools over the years. Currently, it's called a tool called Typinator. In the past, I've used things called Text Expander, and there's different variants on it for Macs, PCs, probably Linux as well. But the core idea of it is you can create a text abbreviation, and then it will just automatically expand into a full piece of, of text. And you probably have run into this in the past because you can do this in things like Microsoft Word. And the real difference of this is one, you get something which is a bit more sophisticated. And the other part is it works in every app on your computer. And some of these will also actually have mobile apps. You can also use a, a key, custom keyboard on Android or on iOS. So you can use these shortcuts on your, uh, your mobile phone as well, which is especially nice because typing there is a super pain. So let me just show you some examples of what that really looks like. So here's what I do basically every time I create a file. I just write D-D-A-T-E and it expands into the date. So I can just always make sure I'm tagging things with the appropriate date. Another thing I do all the time is I'm going to write URLs out all the time. Kaboom, I just go .net and it spits out in the full URL. Or for my other event site, events, kaboom. Or like, oh, there's that webinar URL. And what exactly was that? And it spits it out. And so this is just a way for me to save some typing to say like, what is that URL whenever I'm sending someone an email or in a web browser? The other thing, of course, is I have a stupidly long last name. So I could type out my whole name, which is like, oh, it's Elijah Vander Giesen, but that's, that's pretty horrific. So I can just do E-E-L-I and spit it all out. And I can also do that with my too long to say over the phone email address. So again, that's a nice way just to save me a couple characters. You can of course do this with longer things too. So maybe I just want to say like, oh, I want my whole home address to be spit out into this document. Boom. You just type, I type H address and, and it spits it out. But of course you could give it any kind of shortcut text. You can also go really long with that. So say you have like a big email and you're going to email 17 people, but you need to customize one or two lines for each one of those outreach emails. So here's an example of that. So I would go, I'm sending emails to makers. So I'd say like the body of a maker email. So I put like B maker as my keyboard thing. And you'll see it pops up here, a little thing where I can define out some autocomplete fields. So I can just say in the system, this has a name field, this has an app field. And so I'll just say, hey, John, Here's help me about the app and the app will be called, I don't know, Asylum Help. And I'll just click OK and boom, it spits out the whole email and you'll see it drop in at the key places, these little like these fill in the blank things. So that's a way for you to send out semi-customized messages via your own email client to a whole dozen people without having to go in to like MailChimp and create a whole big complicated email campaign when you're only doing like maybe 20 of them. And then the last thing I wanna show you is you can also, of course, use it to do fun things. So uh, you can basically give yourself the Slack emoji power where you go colon type a thing and it auto completes. And you can do that again anywhere in your system. So I go like colon rocket and they get up, oh, there it is. It brings up a little pop-up and I can type that and here's my rocket thing. Or I wanna do an emoji like, oh, uh, how about a smiley? There we go, smiley face with tear. Of course, that's what I want. Boom. And so that is how I used this text expander thing just to save me a little bit of grief every day. And it actually has stats showing that I've saved myself hundreds of hours over the years in just typing time through a tool like this.